Few facts about Padu bird. Patus are nocturnal insectivores that lack the bristles around the mouth found in the true night jars. They hunt from a perch like a shrike or flycatcher. During the day they perch upright on tree stumps, camouflaged to look like part of the stump. The single spotted egg is laid directly on the top of a stump. The patus are highly nocturnal and generally do not fly during the day. They spend the day perched on branches with the eyes half closed. With their cryptic plumage they resemble stumps. And should they detect potential danger they adopt a freeze position which even more closely resembles a broken branch. The transition between perching and the freeze position is gradual and hardly perceptible to the observer. Patus feed at dusk and at night on flying insects. Their typical foraging technique is to perch on a branch and occasionally fly out in the manner of a flycatcher in order to snatch a passing insect. They occasionally fly to vegetation to glean an insect off it before returning to their perch. But they do not attempt to obtain prey from the ground. But they also take moths, grasshoppers and termites. One northern potter was found with a small bird in its stomach as well, having caught an insect. Patus swallow it whole without beating or crushing it. They are insectivores which means they feed on creepy crawlies insects such as moths, fireflies, termites and grasshoppers. Common patoos are monogamous, staying with one partner throughout their lives. Patoos are monogamous breeders and both parents share responsibilities for incubating the egg and raising the chick. The family does not construct a nest of any kind, instead laying the single egg on a depression, in a branch or at the top of a rotten stump. The egg is white with purple-brown spots. One parent often the male, incubates the egg during the day, then the duties are shared during the night. Patus are known for their incredible patience. When waiting for prey, these birds are generally solitary. With minimal social interactions, patus have a cryptic behavior, remaining motionless for long periods to avoid detection. These birds are known for their distinctive haunting calls in the night. Patus have a unique adaptation where they can adjust the size of their pupils allowing them to control the amount of light entering their eyes and enhancing their vision in low-light conditions during their nocturnal activities. The great potter or the ghost bird is a nocturnal bird that looks like an owl but does not belong to the same family. It feasts on large insects and small vertebrates. They are said to be commonly found in South America, mostly in Colombia. The most well-known characteristic of this bird is its unique moaning growl that the great potter vocalizes throughout the night creating an unsettling atmosphere in the neotropics with its nocturnal sounds. Nocturnality is an animal behavior characterized by being active during the night and sleeping. During the day, the huge great potu bird Nyctibius grandis utters loud squawks and a deep guttural sound. This haunting noise has frightened many a guest. Great patus produce one egg per year, usually during the rainy season. Breeding season occurs during the rainy season which varies by region in South America. Thanks for watching. Subscribe to my channel.